This mosque in Birmingham is storing the dead outside in the car park. They saw the death toll rising here and they know in days from now this extra capacity might not be enough. It's getting a lot busier. Um, we were expecting two pickups this morning, but it turned into four, and there was a funeral as well, and every single one of those had been a COVID-19. Things couldn't be more different for Abid Khan, who's an optometrist. All of the people working here are volunteers. This is a community pulling together. Because of that, though, some things have had to change. Muslims love to get together. They love to congregate, eat together, pray together. They look after the elderly, often in their multi generational household so it has been difficult but also we've taken a stance to not do the ritual washing because we need to protect our volunteers. So many families are dealing with loss. Jawad's uncle Chowdhury Aslam Wassan died in hospital on Sunday after testing positive for Covid-19. He was well known in the community as a self-made businessman and campaigner. A proud family man who did everything for others. He knew that being a social person he's always going to be around people and around three weeks ago people weren't taking it seriously um, and the government hadn't put any strict restrictions in place um, so he made that decision that as soon as he got a cough I'm going to self-isolate um, and not put others at risk. The National Exhibition Centre is being converted into a hospital but it's not open yet one doctor who's working in intensive care today has told me things have got significantly busier. Our intensive care unit at the moment uh, has capacity, uh, which is uh, rare if we compare it to other units uh, across London, for example. Birmingham Airport is preparing to open a morgue facility, but like the new hospital at the NEC, it's not going to be up and running for days in a community that's so desperate for capacity now. Stacey Foster, ITV News. Birmingham.